G'day everyone, in this video we're going to talk Nullbinden Radio. How do we start Nullbinden? Well, goodness me, everyone seems to have a little bit more time on their hands just at the moment. So what I thought I'd do is, is put together a bunch of videos to talk about Noel Binden and how it works, how we go about creating things. So to start off with, you're going to need some wool. I use pure wool 8 ply. Um, you can pick this up from most craft stores. You can also pick it up online. You're going to need a pair of scissors or some kind of cutting device and you're going to need a, a needle or a knoll radio. Now, um, these can be different sizes. I've already done a video on how to make one yourself. That's perfectly acceptable. Uh, you've just got to figure out whatever's going to work for you. Everyone's different and everyone does it slightly differently. So that's okay. All right. So now what we need to do is we need to take a piece of wool. Radio. Okay. So I'm going to use roughly there we go. Now you don't need to go crazy with this. It's not about it's not about um, going crazy. Right. The next thing to say is that I'm right side dominant, so I'm going to do everything with uh, with my right hand side. Now I like to do it this way. Now there's different people, as I say, do it different ways. That's okay. That's whatever they do. Now I tend to anchor my work pretty much like so. So, if we've got our fingers like this, I like to anchor my, um, if you like, the, the standing end of the yarn, that is the yarn that goes back to the, the length we're not working with, whilst we have the working end pretty much like so. Alright, now this then goes around my thumb, and I anchor it like so. I think you should be able to see that. And we're simply going to tie a knot around our thumb. That's going to anchor that into position, radio. Radio, what I then do, now make sure that your knot is at the base of your non-dominant thumbnail, in my case my left thumbnail. That's the knotted end. Now we're going to take this side, which we're going to call the working end. Sorry if I've confused you there. And we just need to thread this now. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit fingers and thumbs on this, pardon me. Radio, there we go. Now double that back on yourself, radio. And now we're just going to go underneath that knot. Alright, there we go. Alright, so if we look carefully, we can see we have our knot at the base of our. Um, non-dominant thumbnail. Now what I'm going to do is thread the needle, just be careful you don't catch yourself, and I'm going to go under that knot, and then I'm going to go around, oops, again. Just be careful your work doesn't come out. Radio. So this is obviously going to depend a little bit on your type of needle, but you do need, excuse me, um, a slightly bigger needle for this to work properly. Right here, now what we do is we're just going to take that needle out from the thumb, not the other way around, okay, and we're going to tighten everything up. And what you're going to look for is where the two yarns cross over. I'm just going to zoom in to show you what that looks like. Alrighty, so you can see an X quite clearly and on the other side of the needle it'll be like so. So now what we're going to do is just cover a little bit of 
uh, sort of nulbind and anatomy, so to speak. We're going to place this like so, okay? So my this is my non-dominant thumb. This is the position of my cross. This is the, if you like, the pointy end of the needle, and this is the eye of the needle. This is the, if you like, the the uh, working end of the yarn, right? And what I mean by that is this is the yarn that we're going to be using and it comes down the, the, the side of my non-dominant thumb. I'm not sure if you can see that too well, but that comes down the non-dominant that comes down the side of my non-dominant thumb, okay? That's actually quite important. That way we make sure we get everything correct. Radio, so any like any type of craft like this, it's simply a matter of just um, getting the process right and following that process and just keep doing the same process. So what we're going to do is we're going to pinch our X between the non-dominant thumb and our non-dominant forefinger, in this case my left hand. I'm going to now pass the needle through the work that we've just done, okay? Oops. Now because it's a natural fibre, it's resisting itself just a little bit, but that's okay. Now we're just going to work our way through that. Radio. Now once again, you can see that I have the X is positioned between my non-dominant thumb and forefinger with the loop just at the base of the um, non-dominant thumbnail. Radio. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass the needle. Now, um, now I've got two loops just here. I'm going to pass the needle into those two loops, right? And I'm then going to come in behind the thumb loop and the working end of that new yarn. I'm going to go push my needle through. As I said, this is a natural fiber, fiber yarn, so it is going to resist itself a little bit. So you may want to just use your middle finger just to hold that in place and then just take that through. It does look a little bit chaotic, that's okay. As long as you're following the process, everything will work out just fine. All right, so. Right, so now all we've done is we've just pulled the needle through. Now what we're going to do is just tidy everything up and just pull it all nice and tight to keep everything neat. I think neatness is probably the biggest thing when it comes to these sorts of um, medieval crafts and so on. Now what we have is, again, we've got our work at the back of the thumb and we have our loop at the front of the thumb. Righto guys, that's how we begin Nullbinden. So now what I'm doing is I'm producing a whole series of videos which will take us through how to Nullbind, different types of stitches and different types of products that we can make. So they'll be being released every couple of days. Please come back and um, uh, please check back again soon to catch up with the, the new videos. Righto guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video. Mm -hmm.